Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of H3VR. So today we are on the test server again. Or not the test server, what am I talking about? Uh, the alpha branch. And today we are going to take a look at the SPAS 12. This was the most voted for gun from last week's poll. Be sure to check out next week's poll of course. And there are two variants and I just realized I forgot to check if a suppressor fits. Let's quickly do that. Does the suppressor fit? Yes it does. So we're gonna keep you there. So uh, voted the, the most popular one to be uh, for me to take a look at, and this is a special little gun. There's two variants in the game. We have uh, the regular one, the tactical one. Be sure to vote for next week's uh, gun in the poll in the description below as well. So uh, this past twelve, this is an <coughs> there. This is an Italian-made uh, weapon. I can't remember the company exactly now. And uh, it was made for uh, military use or police use. And it's uh, a unique weapon, and I'll get to why in a second. So uh, we'll go over the features. It, it it has a tube magazine, like many shotguns. Load in the bottom. I don't remember how many rounds this holds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Eight plus one in the chamber. There we go, one in the chamber. And if we now go firing it. Turn off safe. It's fully automatic or semi-automatic. It uh, The tactical version has a Picatinny rail up top here for uh, your red dots and whatever. Of course it can fit a silencer. The tactical version also has a shotgun shell holder for... Uh, your uh, quick reloading, boop, you know, like so. Granted, it's a tube-fed uh, shotgun, so it isn't that quick. And then we uh, boop. Easy. This is a pen shell, right? Yeah. And uh, of course, we have the traditional version, the regular version, the classic version, whatever you want to call it. This comes with a folding stock, like so. It has a, uh, what you might call it? It has a uh, aperture sight. Did I check? This has just a short of a V-notch. The rail is part of the sight. Can't remember if I showed with left hand while shooting, left eye while shooting. It, it can be a bit confusing being a right eye dominant. So uh, let's load up this shotgun. Still just uh, tube uh, fed. Let's turn off safety. However, this one has a, something unique. If I remember correct. Hold this. If you press down touchpad. Or do I have to do it like this? Okay, that's semi auto. Down on the touchpad. Why are you not cooperating? Let's see, will you cooperate? If I remember correctly, this can be a bit finicky. Let's load this up. You're supposed to be able to switch this over to, uh, um, what should we call it? to uh, pump action and I know that I had it in pump action mode earlier there we go let's try it with this let's just uh, the R chamber. Load it up. There we go. It's just a bit finicky. Now we can. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so this shotgun does both... Uh... Both semi-auto. And full auto. You switch with the down button on the touchpad. Apparently it needs to be closed and on an empty ch chamber. Or an empty round. And the hammer can't be caught not, uh, cocked. So... Uh, or the striker I guess. Not sure if this is striker or hammer. I think this is striker. It's semi-auto. Pull back the bolt here. No, it's semi-auto. Now it should be semi-auto. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature of uh, the SPAS-12. Um, if I remember correctly, this one sees production in 2000 in favor of the SPAS-15. It's, uh, yeah, semi-auto, full-auto, 12-gauge shotgun, oops, tube magazine, what more is there to tell of it? It's, uh, it's pretty cool, I don't, it's, uh, it's very bulky though, I don't really like that. Forgotten Weapon has a, we a video on this, if I remember correctly, I recommend you check that out. I hope you all enjoyed watching this, be sure to vote for next week's guns in the poll below, leave a like, subscribe and all of that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.